We need to start with what's probably the number one concern I hear about soy, that it basically causes man boobs. Seriously, this might be the most persistent myth of them all, the idea that soy will somehow feminize men or cause them to develop breast tissue. But here's what's crazy. This entire fear traces back to a single case report from 2008 about a man who developed breast tenderness and some other symptoms after consuming an extraordinary amount of soy. I'm talking 12 servings of soy milk daily. That's 12 cups of soy milk every single day. About nine times what the typical Japanese man consumes. The title of this study is even called an unusual case of gynecomastia. If we eat any food in major excess, there's definitely gonna be some symptoms happening. A meta-analysis examined 32 different studies and found no effects of soy protein or isoflavones on testosterone levels, sex hormone binding globulin, free testosterone. More recently, there was another meta-analysis and it found no effects on estrogen levels in men even when they consumed as much as 150 milligrams of isoflavones daily. And to put this into perspective again, the average man in Japan consumes about 30 to 50 milligrams of isoflavones daily with no documented hormonal effects. And Japan certainly doesn't have a population-wide issue with men developing man boobs. The bottom line is that at normal consumption levels, even daily consumption, soy does not affect male hormones or cause feminization. This myth really needs to be put to rest once and for all.